Vida. Yep. Um, that side branch is fine there. That's good. No, it's particular part. This is what it looked like earlier. Can you bring it in for a glamour shot? No. Is that max zoom in? Yeah. Can we focus on this branch here? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, this is different than this other one they collected earlier. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I'm not seeing the scale plates that they saw on the one that they took a picture of earlier. This one looks more plexoward like than the one they took earlier. Thank you. All right, we can uh, go ahead and continue. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that looks like a brook. Yeah, I can look at it. Hold on one second. Sorry. I think it's just a broken shell. Oops. Of one of those brachiopods or. Yeah, it's just a broken shell. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and continue. Out of this coral rubble, starting to see some like um, coating of bio biogenic material. Let me zoom in a bit while we're panning. Okay. Right, there we go, that's better. That's all right, thank you. Thank you. Corals, I think, similar to what we collected. With some fish hanging out in the crevices. It's starting to look something like uh, another sea mount that we is a little further east of here. We've crossed above 400 meters of depth. Yeah, we can keep going. Starting to see a few fish species I think we probably haven't seen before. Occasionally we're seeing some of those small yellow corals, flexorids, I believe. Biogenic coverage as we move up. Can we stop right here? Thanks. Zoom in on this one. I'll wait till you get settled in. Yeah, we'll stop. It's hard for me to, I'm not as good at controlling the camera. <laughs> No. 
It might be a tinge of the algae, yeah. Oop, there's a chitin. Um, can we see if we could break off a piece of this rock? I'm not sure how hard of a rock it'll be. Um, this one up here with the pinkish areas on the top. Yeah, I think this. Yeah, this one up here, up in this area. Um, I don't see. I had to zoom on it, but I'm not seeing what I want to see on there. So let me just zoom really quick. Um, there's maybe something there. It's just not as clear to me as the other one. So I. Yeah, you can push on it. Give it a test. Then you push down. Then you push down. Okay, it's gonna be really difficult. Okay. Maybe a rabbit Um, let me see if I can see any other rubble on the sea floor that we could just grab instead. Here and see if any of this. Persona, we have a question in the chat about um, any tips in for becoming a marine bio student. Would you guys want to take that? Question for the green. Where's the question? Uh, yeah, we can both answer it. I think just everyone okay. takes their own route. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you want guys to take the mic for a bit? Is that okay, Aaron? Yeah, that'd be great. Actually. Yeah, no worries. Um, I'm I'm not sure if you're. Of course, you can. Of course, go to. A university and study marine biology for real or biology or um, we actually have very different like I'm surprised how many different routes you can go to study um, the marine so we have also um, robotics people and you can be an engineer if you want and that's a different way of also studying the marine biology i guess and uh, of course Maybe let's see if we can oceanography just, but if you feel like you want to study marine biology without going to the university then i would say go to the beach and look at animals and see if you can find a local guide for whatever fauna there is and just uh, and i think in general this is a very good skill to have if you want to study biology to already like go diving, go snorkeling, go walk into the beach, go look at rocks, what's growing on there. That's, I think, a really good way to start. For me, meet people that way. For me, that's a very important uh, 
thing in my life. So next to, of course, studying, uh, taking courses. and But the people I meet and that are inspiring is my favorite part. <laughs> and Basti, oh. do you have uh, anything to add? Oh, in English, I'm really bad, but... Uh, <laughs> It's it. it's more yeah, you like say it in Spanish too. <laughs> no, but you also can you. Oh, and I'm that? also called Rosanne, by the way, <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. and I'm Bastian. No, in more like a uh, story in Marine Bayoli, I think it's better to say it like story in story in the sea, the, the ocean. We are doing marine science. It's yeah. more like that than Marine Bayoli. Marine biology is just the biology part. We have engineers like Rosen say, we have oceanography, geology, all, all that kinds of science. Yeah. So, kind of yeah, yeah, just take some of, if you And I'm also super down, surprised by studying. Uh, by marine biology um, that it's really such an integrated field like the whatever is happening in the whole water column is important for what we see down here in the benthic zone and everything is super correlated for example this volcanic uh, geology and yeah, I, I think that's something I really like. It's it's very hard to see one way to look at it apart from the other. So be interested and yeah. Yeah, just suction up some of that rubble. I don't know if we're gonna get anything on it, but. I, my supervisor actually did something in Ghent. I'm not sure if she took the degree. Uh, I'm. Oh, I, I'm personally, I just did regular biology yeah, master, which no, I yes. like because I'm interested in all kinds of things. And the, for the marine biology master in my university was very focused on fisheries, which is something I'm not that interested in. Um, and I really wanted to be more broad interested yeah, yeah, and look more at physiology, morphology, diversity. Um, um, uh, but anyway, I think, so you have to look at what kind of courses they give to kind of know, because the differences is very big between universities and uh, studies. So be aware of that. That's my tip for you. <laughs> because if I hear some people here, I was like, well, I would have loved to study that marine biology, but the one in that was in my university, I'm glad I didn't do it, so. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Well, for now I'm talking in Spanish, so... O sea, algo parecido a lo que dijo Rosan es que... Depende mucho de la universidad que vayas y el tipo de personas que al final te juntes. Eh, depende de las personas que conozcas y que te relaciones. Ahí cada persona tiene su manera de enseñarte. Y bueno, depende siempre de todas esas cosas. Harta suerte ahí. Pero si te vas a esa línea, de esta línea de la ciencia marina, y te vas a la biología marina. Eh, no sé de dónde eres, pero bienvenido a Chile, <ríe> a la Universidad Católica del Norte. Así que muy buenos profesores, muy buenos científicos ahí y un gran ambiente de estudio. Eso. Thank you. Short in the next 
it's not wrong. Until I decide that we're gonna come on bottom, I think. Or okay, the bottom time is I think when I decide we're gonna come on bottom. Maybe like in a half an hour. So it's when we make it to the summit. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Yeah. I was just saying, saying that to them. Are you, are you Dutch? Um, we'll just shorten because the next time. The, and the Wait, are you summer sun or my sun? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no? Now it is. Sorry, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Roxana van Enne, are you Dutch? Because in that case, I think the Groningen master is the best one of the Netherlands. And I don't know anything about Belgium if you're actually from Belgium, because your last name sounds very Dutch. And I'm personally, I'm Dutch. So this is my tip for you. Yeah, it's very beautiful. It's pink fish. It's a different notice. It's a different grammatic notice, yeah. It's a different grammatic notice. I think the genus is for sure the same, but the species is different. I mean, it's very similar, but very different. Hey, that's the one you've seen. Um, yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Are there ones coming? This one. On the right, the drive. Okay, he's gone. That's all right, we can continue. Let's see. Oh, well. It's very pretty. It is very pretty. Can we um, hop over to section four? You want section? Yeah, if it cooperates. Okay. Uh, you want to pick up the A gastropod? You want four? Four, right? Yeah, four. Yeah, there's a smaller one down there. I think smaller. The one at Pukau doesn't have these vertical bands. Sure, if it's just variation in color or different. This one's tucked in to take a nap. Okay. So it might be an easier one. Are you ready? Yep, full Zoom in, uh, Aaron. Yep. Zoom in, fine. Which one to the right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To the right, but I'm 
Up center yeah. on side cam. On this camera. Yeah. You want me to turn on something at the last moment? Uh, and look, I'm going to shut the subject. And then uh, the sit camera's on. Uh, we have to turn the sit. Same way I'm before. So a long way to go. Sucking? Here you go. What's up? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my god. That's cheating. That's cheating. That's cheating. He was in there. You already had him. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. He might still be here. We'll probably see him. There was three or four. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Is, is that one? No. Um. You have. <laughs> I know. Like, well, I too strong of a swimmer. Yeah, it looks like one. Right there. Tell me, I think it just nestled under a little bit of rock there. Casually swim away. All right, let's let's keep going up a little bit and see if we see any more. Maybe, um, yeah. It might be. There might be more of them up above. Or we can try the net further up. I mean, it's very expensive. Oh yeah, that's um. There might be a high volume. What are they called? Um, it turn it might be a type of four fish. Yeah. There's actually one tucked in right there. See it? It's like I'm Yeah, there's one right there. It seems like it's struggling against the current. Maybe this one will be it's like sucking fingers on on the left, it's just doing errand. Can be a slight pain. Yeah. And they ask what the plan is. Uh, once we get out of the water, we're just going to hang around here and go straight back in. We're going back to we're going to the start point for the next. Uh, is this in the dive pond? 
Okay. Should, I, is, should, I, did I, should I or not? I'm really not sure if I sent it this morning. It's in there if I didn't email it. Which is six, seven, zero. Six, seven draft. I, might, I might not have emailed so it. There's no email. Come straight to the point. Let me just check. Yeah. I'll be back in a second. Did you get unsucked? Sorry. Um, not sure where it went. It's fine. We can just keep going for a while and see if we can see another one. We're just getting into the depth zone that we'll find them, so hopefully we'll see more. <clears throat> yeah, let's just keep going for a little bit. Let's see if we can see where there's several. We'll see something like we saw the other day with the same genus, where there were quite a few of them in a very close area. But it's in participant, so it's all okay. Good. Yeah, I vaguely remember thinking when I went to go to sleep that I'd forgotten to send the second one. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey, do you know how to change the recording format? If you can listen to it, we're hoping to get a little bit of this recording in 4K. I'm already not recording it. Can you not? I'm sorry. I'm sure it's fine. So, I'm going Okay. Take a look at this fish. I'm not sure if it's the same or not. Yeah, it's the same. We can keep going. The red scorpion fish, I think. Oh, that's more and more of the pinks on top of the biogenic material that's laying on top of the rock. I guess is some of this biogenic material is actually the crustos coralline algae. Um, and just only some of it is still living.
Ooh. Yeah. So, um, is that one the Pentaceras? Yeah, I think maybe it's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the one that Ben was seeing in the, one of the other cameras a little bit ago. That was like, yeah, I think that's a lobster. Can we? Right behind the fish right now. Or maybe it's just a shrimp. And if I can see him really quick. Oh yeah, just a shrimp. Shrimp bait. Pretty shrimp. I'm gonna look at one more thing over here if you don't mind. That's all right, we can go ahead and keep, let's just let it keep going. Uh, I think it's a juvenile maybe of the fish we've been seeing. Starting to get what might be a, another species of crustose coralline algae there, brighter pink. Why heavy? Our Planktanthias perini he shows up around these depths. Yep, it's um, Perrin's Anthias, that's a common name. Yeah, we see them pretty commonly along the Salas y Gomez Ridge at these depths. Yeah, as we move up shallower, uh, we we'll, should see more and more of this crustose coralline algae. The coverage will increase. Another one of those, I think the common name is a boar fish. Pentaceras, I believe, is the genus. These are also a species that's known from Salazie Gomez Ridge.
<coughs> the fish with the red bars is uh, Perrin's Anthias, like Granthius Perini. Yeah, the green, I think, is a type of algae as well. Um, we get the brighter green patches. I think it's a type of crustose coralline algae. Um, the lighter green, there's this type of algae that will live in biogenic material and carbonate um, that gives us a greenish tint. But it's not, I don't think it's considered crustose coralline. But I'd have to check with someone who's an expert in okay, algae. I think I know where to change. So. I'll give it a go, because basically there's set to be the 1080p30 or 2160p30. And we'll give it a try. Do you want to try it now or do you want to wait until after the light and we'll leave this camera on and go? Some squat lobster. Yes. We can do it next time, Okay. I'm actually not sure. This purple fish might be a different fish than the Grammata Nudis. A little yeah, bit. We'll sit awesome. down and see if we can take a look at him. Not a notice. All right, maybe if we can sit down in here. This right. has a few more of these fish around. Yeah. Some of them are smaller, maybe easier to collect. Yeah, and if we can't get them with the the suction, we'll just switch over to the net. Mm -hmm. But there's like two little ones here. Sure. That might oh, be easier. We'll yeah. We might not be able to swim against the suction. Is that pull your arm in? Yeah, so it is pretty unusual to see uh, algae at this depth. Um, I think the I'd have to check on the crustus coralline algae what the record depth is, but I do believe it's in the upper 300s, so it's not common to be observed at this depth. A lot of places, the deepest it goes is in the upper 200s. So we've been observing it around 380 on recent dives. I'm not sure I'm going to get in there. Then we'll hold. Yeah. We're going to shorten the next dive. Our second dive off bottom time is going to stay the same. We're just going to lose time off. So we're coming on back at fourth. We are. Off bottom at fourth. We're going to. Yeah, somewhere out of after four. Two. And then we'll just turn it around. And then go back down, and anytime we lose, we'll just get lost off the second dive because we're not going as shallow on it. Are you kidding me? They're like so. You're going to get tired. Pull over the game tired. You're getting 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 tired
Pilots are changing out here. So Adam is coming in for Ben and Scott for Zach. Oh, are you kidding me? Gosh. All right, it's, it's gonna have to be the net then. If you... These guys just get out. You get them in there, they get out. Yeah, it'll have to be the net. There were others in the area, so. I will pass it over. Awesome, thank you. Is this not working? What's that? Uh, we can. Uh, I, what are you I gonna think do? Ben had me turn it down. Somebody had me turn it down. I, I turned him down, but that, not because of those buttons. I turned it down because I had to use the stick. Right, so you want that the seven, right? Is that a squid? It yeah. was too snappy. It was yep. Yep. Oh, no. oh, wow. it was like way too snappy. For me. The gold yeah. The yeah, it's, it's, it's turned, turned down. The valve's turned down. Okay. Fix it. Now, now. Octopus gonna eat a squatty? No. It's quite a big one. Oh, no. I think that octopus just took a squatty for the squatty. Yep. No, it's, it's, feeding. it's feeding on a squatty. <laughs> Squatty lost that battle. When did you say we're coming up? Um, I'm thinking in the next half hour. Half hour. Yeah. We're just going to lose the time off the next side. You could probably catch him now. Wow. Size E. I'm giving him carry the hint. We already collected one now. Fish, and we'll just net them. Okay. Maybe we'll get the net ready then? Yeah. And they were able to be, we got three of them suctioned up at Bukau. Were we able to just Rabal? keep them suctioned? No, I think they've been going up and then swimming right back out, so I don't know. I guess well, these are better swimmers. Better swimmers. <laughs> so we'll just switch to the net. Yeah, they look a little bit different than the ones we've collected before, both east and west of here, so. I don't know if it's a color variation or whether they're actually different species. And to do that, we have to collect a specimen. gone fishing with the net yet, Scott? I have not. Come over here. Alright. Alright. Okay. Alright, now we just gotta look for some. I think we scared away the four that were here. Thank you. 
A different fish right. over on the right. Uh, can we take a just a zoom at that fish? If you don't mind. What is it? Uh, orange. Giving me all this control. Wow. Looks like a, a lizard fish back behind it, too. Yeah, it looks like a shonic. I don't think. It's a lure. Ooh. Someone is angry. This one looks, it looks like it's probably a Shonix, I think, but it was one of those purple fish, right? I'm gonna sit again. Grammat it in. All right, I'm gonna, it's okay if I span, go over to the little lizard fish there. Get them both in view. Okay. Oh, I don't know what that one is. It's not, a, it's not the genus I was thinking. I think he's a chunk. Let's closer on this guy. Yeah, right. Which guy? The one on the right or the. On the left. Left. This is. We got. Got the coloration of algae. <laughs> this green. Yeah, the purple one there. Can also get a shot of the other one. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is like that try. Mm. No, it probably won't come up with the right genus name for it. It's a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. <laughs> exactly. Maxie would know. Yes. All right, we good? Yes. It's a shimmer. It's kind of weird. Body doesn't get it first. Yeah, I hope they swim up and do it and then loop the loop it around so they stay in. Oh, young sis, I'm trying to learn to make sure that's really like, I'm trying to learn to make sure that's really not working. Nope, they even got away. Yeah, these things are quick. They just laid around last time.
Yeah, it's a nice sea star down there. Well, the suction sampler, they weren't able to... Yeah. Well, were you the one who collected the grammata notice for me last time, the purple fish? Yeah. That's what I thought. Maybe you'll have better luck. cold in here two hours, like, let's see. It's not as bad as it's been the last few days, though. Yeah. There's a group of, there's a group of three of them. The squatties go. Oh, like they're so fast here. You guys decide. I mean, you can try the section one more time. Right. If you want, we can go up and see if we can find some more laying down. It seems to be easier. But if not, I guess it just wasn't meant to be, huh?
coming up towards the summit, probably within 10 meters, shallowest point. See more of these boar fish. Yeah, that's kind of amazing. Um, <laughs> well, I want to extend the dive, but I don't know if I want to extend it all that day. They're octopus. It's one of those fish sleeping. Have us down below. A couple more swimming. You see one? Oh yeah, there's a couple more up there. There's one sleeping down below. Yeah, there's there. Oh. Yeah, the octopus. Oh. It's a whole bunch beyond. Yeah, I don't know. What do you What do you feel, Scott? Do you want to? Keep with the net one more try, or do you want to um, switch so to suction, or? For this guy. Yeah. And if it doesn't do work, then we'll call it. Yeah, they're. Whereas before, they were just kind of. Maybe it's net tied something, so they're slack and they're cruising around for food. Yeah. This one might be a good one to try with suction there that's tucked in the, in the rock. In the rock. Yeah. Because I don't, yeah, I think they're also swimming faster than you guys can rotate the net around them. So, and if it doesn't work, then I guess it's just not my day for. No faith in the lack of our ability. It's not about faith <laughs> in that. Sometimes <laughs> things just don't work out. <laughs>
jar four. Yeah, and jar four is fine. So this is itself further in there. Yeah, these are definitely stronger swimmers than... Sprite cup coral. Or nope, it's an anemone on the hermit crab. That's all right. We'll just have to call it, I think. I appreciate the effort, but I think they just have the better of us today. Is on side two. It's on side two. Yeah. Okay, but he's going to switch it over to side two. I don't know when. It's right away. Mm -hmm. I can't find it. Um, make sure to find it. Get the back of the computer back. Change the code. Excellent. Because it's where it's more than the other. So uh, instead of side, so that we can get it on the other. Side two. It's just run away. Oh, so it's not going to be a sick. Right. No, no, it isn't. So right now it's coming in as a, a sick cam. I think it's changing. We've just had a it's only going to HD. So side two is a 4K recorder. So that's why they want to change it from side two. So we just have to find where it's run off to. Wait, that's going to be a good one. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, let's just go ahead and continue transecting out towards the summit then. <laughs> just want to be able to see, finish the transect, I think, and then come off bottom, grab a skin at the top, and then see what else we see. Maybe at maybe at our next site we'll see him again and they'll be more cooperative. What is that? 
Oh, now they're just tasteless. I know, right? We got some diadema up top now here, too. How many of them are? They're so fast. Yeah, that's just... So we have some collected from further east, and they own, their tail fins are different. And then these have the same tail fins as the ones we collected from the western seamounts, but they have a different pattern on their body, yeah. which could just be variation in color. It could also be indicative of them being a different species. Uh, the an Antagonia that just showed up there, the red banded one. Lots of diadema up top. Are the lasers on right now? Thanks. Now they are, thank you. Hey, on the bridge, we just bumped your uh, waypoint a little bit more. Let me drop down and look at, there's a fish right there, I think. Another fish we haven't seen, I don't think. Flatfish known from the area. I'm not sure which is which. Yeah, we can go ahead and keep moving slowly unless someone wants a nice glamour shot. Seeing some of these colonial cup corals that we've been collecting. Can we zoom in on this cluster here? Thanks. I see it. It is really well camouflaged. Mm -hmm. 
person. Thank you. This upcoming CTD wants to be the deployment position for the deep water, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, thanks. Yep. Thank you. cleared by the urchins or not, the circular spots. I think so, pretty much. We got just a little bit. On our map, we should have a little bit more to the summit, but maybe this is it. We're at 331, which is about where we expected it to be. A little bit left to go. Yeah, it might be off. It looks like, yeah, and actually now that they're rotating the map around, it does look like our final waypoint's a little past the summit. So this is probably the summit right here. I don't know. Oh, that's a Yeah. Maybe. Okay. I can't do I can't do a full eight now. It's too late to do a full eight, but I can get you a sediment bag or something. That's how it works. Yeah. Before we get to, I can see that there's a rock out of front coming, right? Yeah. Before we get there, can we grab a bag of sediment? I like this new belt there, too. Very nice. What? I have a problem. 
One of these, what looked like to me to be maybe two anemone anemones. Um, can I see them really quick? No. I think these are a little maybe two anemones here. Yeah, I don't know if we'll pick it up, but. There's like rock right below it. Yeah, a bit more, please. Yeah. We're gonna um, put it in box four.
Okay, yeah, we have someone on board who's looking at the Maya fauna that live in the sediment. And so we're just grabbing a sediment bag for him to sort it through. He doesn't do quantitative, it's just qualitative when we collect these samples. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, I don't think the sediment was very deep yeah. by the looks of it. Yeah. Got some tube anemones. Uh huh. Just a few minutes. I'm gonna turn it this much. So we're just doing the last little bit of transecting here. There's some, occasionally we're seeing, we're seeing some fish resting along the bottom. It's like a stereocidaris urchin here. So one of our main objectives on this expedition has been to make it to mesophotic depths where we're seeing flora that require um, light and conduct photosynthesis. So we've been interested in seeing this transition to the mesophotic zone. So that's why where it's a priority for us to, to make it to these features at the sim summits. What was that? I'm sorry. I said it looks like the, the actual summit is probably 100 meters past this waypoint six. Sure, we can keep heading that way. So we can just mostly transect. There's an urchin I think we want to collect, but um, I want to try to get up before dinner too. How's it going, boys? Good. Just like you hold me here against your will? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're being very. There's an urchin. Exactly. Yeah. That is a huge urchin. Yeah, we can get this one. We can pop it in either 3B or 4, whichever is easiest. Yeah, that would be fine. 
Uh, you can put it in either 3B or 4, whichever one's convenient. I think this these spines might be too long. It might have to be a manip maneuver. Uh yeah, two B will work, yeah. Alright, so this might be an aspidia aspidodiadema. Kinoderm expert on board thinks that this is um, a different one than one we've collected on the expedition. The date. Aspidodiadema. Box 2B. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, we can continue moving along towards what we think is the summit. Interesting. Every time we come up on top of one of these rock features, we start seeing, oh, there's the lights. <laughs> so these urchins. Um, yeah, the one with the red stripes is Antigonia. The other one, I always forget its name. Which one is it? Notopogon. That's it. Thank you. Notopogon. Yeah. This is Pentaceras with the black bands. This purple and yellow fish are Gramatonotus. Slowly moving up slope here to where we think the summit is. What are these? Yes. 
Let's see. Yeah, can we collect some of this uh, yellow? There's one there too. They're all over. Yeah, section sampler is fine. We can stack it in four with the gastropod. This is uh, apparently what's been making all this coral rubble that we've seen down slope by the looks of it. living one so this one here is living yeah it might be a suction and dump into a bio box yeah um, looks like 1a is available still That's good. We got a few polyps in there alive, so. All right. Let's go just a little bit further and then we'll grab that Niskin bottle at the top. Again, the fish off on the right that's got the two red bands is a Plecranthius um, perini. It's one that's known from the area, from the Salas y Gomez Ridge. The Antagonia is the wider shaped fish that we're seeing here now, also has kind of reddish bands. The small yellow and purple fish is Chromatonotus. There's a lot of coral rubble here, um, and there's Christos coralline algae growing on it. We're heading over to what we think is going to be the highest point, so it's a little bit away. So I'm just gonna scoot on over there quickly. Sorry, 
See more Pentacetus, oh, uh, Borefish. More of these. Actually, this one. Can you zoom on these fish? I think they're different. I don't know what these are. Yeah, yo tampoco. No sé. No sé. Wow. This, uh, yeah, no sé. Maybe. These fish are. I don't know if they're known or not. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, sit down and see. That looks like a notopogon that we're looking on head on. These are also kind of. Gosh, I have no. Uh, the orange drifting one, I think we might be looking at a notopogon, looking at his head on. But I'm not 100% sure. I need to see it from the side. That's a notopogon, the one that was looking at us head on. Before. Yeah. Can you zoom the just for the picture? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, can we? I have no clue if we should try suction or net. See if we can snag one of these fish. I would try suction first. Yeah. Yeah, suction. Okay. Four is fine. We'll just keep stacking at four. All the colors popping in the LG now. We got oranges and reds. Yeah, they are kind of big. Just go 
and Max, who's awake and not giving me a name for the fish either, so. Oh. Oh, it's got its fins out. Okay, if you got a Yeah. What if you um Oh, we could uh, relax the suction for a sec second, see if his fin comes down. Oh, no, maybe that might be down. He's in. He's in. Awesome. And we can index the three. Yeah, index the three because there's a squatty in five. So awesome. Thank you. I may not have gotten my other grammatic notice, but I got this one. So I guess it was meant to be. Okay, pick up the one. <laughs> the show off is what it is. You're having too much fun, Scott. <laughs> no, it's not. It's work. <laughs> Can't your work be fun? Of course it can. <laughs> I think if it's not fun, you're probably not doing the right job. It's a secret. <laughs> All right. Actually, just need to watch ready. Too. We've seen it before, but I don't remember what it's called. Pretty sure. We've been seeing it occasionally on the dive. Yeah, Max is also requesting Yeah, I saw it kept not it kept not looking at like giving us a side view. Let's see. Thank you. 
Sorry. I think it's gonna stay tucked in there. Thanks for the effort. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep moving forward. And we want to get a zoom on these notopogons on the side view. These right here that have the little like uh, snorkels looking things on top. Ceres. There's a number of these fish that they don't know what they are that we just collected. Yeah, it's these two right there. Ooh, that's um, that's like a Calanthus down there. Maybe. It's fast. Okay. Uh, Notopogon. N O T O P O G O N. Yeah, I think it's N O T O P O G O N. I think. See the lasers? It's just above the lasers. Oh, yeah, see it. Okay. If there's a. Okay, do that. We're good. Um, this. It, I think, is a bath, like a bathyphilus or something similar, some sort of eel. Yeah. Yeah, like a... It's like a bath... I don't know if it's a bathy something or a... Gymothorax, maybe? Yeah, maybe a gymothorax. I can't tell the eels apart very readily. towards the summit. Almost there. Sorry, Zach. It's very exciting. You find cool stuff? Yeah. Lots of pretty fishes. What's the next dive? Uh, we're yeah. starting at the same spot that we started our last dive, but we're going up a different ridge, and the summit's shallower. Oh, a different summit? Yeah, a different summit, different feature, adjacent to this feature. You said the summit's shallower than this? Deeper, sorry. I don't know what I said, but I meant deeper. Hmm? 
Yeah, up to there. Yeah, it's like five something. So I put this die first because it was more important that we made it to the shallowest point to meet our expedition goals. So that's why we're spending more time here and just cutting the next dive a little sh shorter. It's still the same off bottom time. So if it's five hours on bottom, that's all we get. It's fine. Okay, I was going to ask you too, what's the... Uh, oh, I think actually, yep. no, but do you have any need for the M3 to be on? Yeah, I was thinking about that. I haven't decided. Yeah, what now? What is that? Cool. Is this a Profundiconos? A Conos? Yeah. It looks like it's oh, a CCA. Mm. Yeah, but it looks like a CCA. Are, are they living? There's two plus there's whatever. This pair yeah, looking thing. Yeah, but it's just shells. Oh, it's covered in algae. It, yeah, it's covered in CCA. Yeah, it should be. There's one covered, this oh. is green, green, there's oh, lots wow. of them. And it is a lot of them. Yeah. We collected a perpendicular bonus a little bit ago. Yeah. Yeah, these yeah, are only all... Only if you, if you can, yeah, even shorts are useful. Yeah. Let's see if we see a... Actually, one more slip. Oh, no, it's a dead chill, too. Never mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thought maybe for a minute I saw one that was living. Hey, Aaron, if we're still in at uh, 5.30, me and Ben are going to go grab dinner real quick. Okay. Better. Come back and trade with these guys. Okay. Sounds good. Please. I think, how many meters do we have to the summit? Roughly? 50. 50? Okay. Yeah, it's that up of ships, so probably... Should be something like... What? Which is better? Next we're starting at the same exact point we started the last dive, well, and we're going up. up. We're climbing up. up. No, we're climbing up a different ridge that's not as high. We're climbing up a different feature. The okay. summit is only at five something. We won't make it. Yeah, we won't make it the shallow again. This is our only dive, which is why I'm keeping this down longer. Okay. Yeah. So if we are not coming back to here, I will suggest to pick one of those. Okay. Yeah. Oh, out the bus. And the summit is 50 meters uh, south. So, uh, 180, 190. Some more of the chromatic notice are around again. Oh, periphrasis. Can we pause? Yeah. He's right there. That's it. This is one to try with the net. Hey, is it the Yeah. Oh, it's gonna go in that hole. It's oh, never gonna come out. Yeah, let's get a good zoom on it. Or not. I can still get a zoom on all this, though. So good? Yeah. All right, I'm tucked away. All right, let's go ahead and continue. One of these dives, maybe I'll see a pair of purses where we can collect it. What did they look like? Um, it was that yellowish one with the black banded bars. They kind of like sit up kind of in seal pose. Looks like we're, looks like off. Yeah, it looks like it drops off easy. Yeah, what about the climb? Yeah. 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 It's like, it's like, it's like, it's 
Starting to get this other urchin mixed in with the other, with the diadema. star there. Let me go ahead and look at this sea star. I think it's something similar to what we collected the other day. So at least give a zoom for Ari. Uh, there's a Suzuk, uh, what's that? A Suzuk, yeah. And yeah, the potato urchin. Also see that that one is also a potential, a likely new species right there. That fish right there. Oh, so many. Uh, potatoes hiding out. We have oh, so many of the potatoes. I don't remember what they're called. I just think that they're, um, Maybe they're called scripts, scripts oh, Yeah, yeah. scripts Aquinas. We have so many of them. Um, can we collect this sea star here? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Um, Biobox two, okay. Yes, Biobox two is fine. Actually, I have things and everything in Biobox two. Biobox three. Biobox three. Three Oh, I see it. That one looks yeah. like it's alive. Yeah, I'll get it. Sorry. That's all right. Keep your, keep, help me keep an eye on that fish right there. I want to try to suction it, too. Yeah, the other one will be shorter. Because we've already gone through that depth range, yeah. So we'll come out at 2 a.m. Um, you can put it in, uh, let's put it in 1B, stack it in 1B, yeah. I think it'll be easier for you to drop it in there, huh? There's just a rock in 1B, so. Yes, the conus, yeah. It's right there. It's in the circle of urchins. So actually there are a lot of species here that are um, have been on our wish list that we haven't come across uh, yet. Ones we've seen when we've done some video surveys in the past where we did not have sampling capability. Yeah, we'll zoom. Can we zoom before you grab it? Thanks. Doesn't look like it's alive, but it's at least a fresh cell. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, I don't see it's alive. Jar 3 is okay? Yeah, Jar 3 is. Jar 3 does have a lot of section, but yeah, it'll go in, that's fine. Okay. 
Box now that I see it. Yeah. Um, you can stack it on one B. Index to eight. Oh, there's a fish in there. Never mind. We do not want index to eight. How about seven? Yeah. Seven has a sponge. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, we rotate around. There's a fish. I want to see if I can find it again to try the suction up. It was under, it was like under this ledge here last time I saw it, so we might need to. It's got two orange stripes longitudinal along its body and then a couple black dots near its tail. No, no, not far. They're going to extend this way. Oh, Yeah. It's like maybe an octopus tucked in there. Crown at the top of the summit. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Are we able to get a little bit closer to the yeah, look no. down here? I'm going to see if I can still see that fish before we go up there. It's small. It's like some of the ones we'd collected before. Let's go ahead and head slowly back over to the summit then. Which one? Mm, no, it's small. Mm. Did you see it? Where? Yeah. Which? Somewhere. Can we sit sit down over here just for a second? Oh, right here by the urchin. Yeah. It looked too. Crazy. 
These all are long dead. Those calm snakes. Yeah, but they're these are all long dead ones. Yeah, let's just yep. go slowly. If we can stay kind of as much as it's safe to do, stay close to the C4 as we work our way up towards that rock feature. Mm -hmm. See if we see anything else. Mm. That's a lighter color conus right shape right there. There's another fresher shell, but it's also dead. I mean, we are still useful. Uh, sure. All right, can we go ahead and suction up this one too? It's another dead shell, but we'll go ahead and stack it in 1B. Sure. Suction and dump in 1B. Also yeah, that looks like a one. notopogon. Yeah. It's pretty nice. It is very pretty it's hanging out over there. Anthogonia, the red one. box too much. You want other stuff? Uh yeah, it's fine. Thanks. Alright, now let's proceed slowly up towards that rock and I'll keep my eyes out for that other fish that I saw briefly. and enemies. It's like a very it's cool sea star. Yeah. The orange thing, it's a sea star. A 
look like one who's having a meal. tucked in there. I guess they're keeping I guess they're keeping uh, this rock a little bit uh, denuded of precious coralline algae. Heading back around it. Me? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. I thought for a minute they weren't on and then I just saw them. I was like, I'm going to say we can go back. Yeah. I'm going to say we can go back the other way without the lasers on for the glamour shot because then you guys have to undo what you did. And then when we get there over here, we want to zoom on that crab. Um, it's this orange spot right there. Okay. Yeah, there Can we suction that crab? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Can stack it inside? Oh, wow. I don't know. I that's why I like the mesophotic stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. why I like the mesophotic stuff. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. yeah, this is like a second time now when I end up a dive. We've seen just like a random rock hanging at the top. Yeah. Yeah, inspired. Yeah, it's like, you know, Uh, this right, yeah, this appears to be the tippy top, and the red thing that we're trying to collect right now is a crab. We're not sure exactly which group it's in. Uh, Mari has it narrowed down, but I'd have to ask her to. Nice. And while you're there, can you grab one of the smaller of the white urchins too? This one a little up of where you were. Smaller one? Yeah, a smaller one that'll make it through the suction. It's got a hole. 
Fire alarm. Yeah, you know, so. I know, no. Uh, maybe they didn't write it. I just have 3B is all I have. It doesn't have something in it. 4 has the, uh, the sediment bag in it. We could always add something to it. Alright, so 7. Oh my gosh, it's going to take us forever to sort all these. Option. <laughs> Crab. Okay. Quick, quick right? Yeah, I know, right? Sure. Yeah. Did the Okay. All right, we're doing a change out for dinner time. I've extended this dive all the way up to dinner, so which is not always the most convenient time. Did you see it come in? I didn't see it come in. I might be surprised if it got caught up on something on the way in. Did we check if it was clear of the two entry? I saw the one, like it's in the two somewhere. Yeah, I made it just about 300 meters here at the top of this. Are there crabs in there? What are you trying to see? No, it's, uh, it's an urchin after that. All right. Stuck along the way. Sorry. All right, um, can we pop back down to the surface around here? Um, after you finish your undoing your circle. I'll do one more look for that fish. last fish that we saw. Can I take this one yeah, let's take in this one. Yeah, good call. Thank you for reminding me. I always think of it and then I'm so interested in watching you collect <laughs> that I forget. So Two, two bottle two, two, yeah. Yeah, just sit down. Yeah, somewhere in that. Yeah, maybe see where we can see some of the fish swimming around. See if I can spot a. It's almost like a, like a, it does, and it's like also not like a hand raising. Yeah, it's like, it looks like something that they would make that was taken in an aquarium to like, look like bottom of the ocean. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is what it looks like on the bottom of the ocean, and then you see it and you're like, oh, it kind of does. Yeah, the sit cam view of that rock feature is pretty cool. It kind of, kind of looks like a hand reaching out with all, all these fingers coming out.
Ooh, there's Paraprisus hanging out. That's Paraprisus. The yeah, the yellow one with the black bars. There we go. Such a pretty and probably absolutely impossible for us to collect. Because there it goes. Sea star there. Yeah, see, look at them. They're. Can't show off for me. Yeah, it's a sea star. Yeah. Also in a pretty much impossible to collect location. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, other fishy. Show me your feathers, please. Persis right there, moving along. Yeah, can we hop up just a little bit to look at, let's look at this pair of purses, see if it'll cooperate, and I'll look around one more time. Okay. Fine. Can we pop up here maybe? Do one look up here and then we'll probably call it. further up where there's that cluster of fish further ahead and then sit and look one more time. If there's anything else? One of those sea stars that does the crisis in your pose. See, that's a pair of purses right there, the yellow one. Yeah. I'm not seeing the Suzyktis species that we saw earlier. I tend to just see them, like, one alone.
It's funny because this one now, I don't see the vertical bands we were seeing on the one that was deeper. This looks like the one we collected before. I wonder if it's a, maybe it is the same species and it's changes color as it ages and matures. I don't know. Now oh, there's a fish we haven't seen. I love the mesophotic zone. There's so much color, so much going on. All right, now let's go ahead and come off bottom. We eventually have to do this other dive. <laughs> Gotta recover the amphipod traps. Fly right here for the next I know, right? It's gorgeous. All right, happy to come up. Yeah, happy to come up. Thank you. Great job, Ruby. Thanks for being so flexible and letting me stay on bottom. All right, you guys are up until like middle of dinner time. But I'm gonna close and just do a close out now. And okay. then, yeah. All right, well, thank you everyone for joining our dive, our first of two dives at this location. We are at a seamount, an unnamed seamount, unexplored seamount that's between Rapa Nui and Motumotiro Hiva along the western extent of the Salazi Gomez Ridge in the southeast Pacific. We dove today on a feature with a summit at around 300 meters depth. We started around 800 meters depth. Tonight, we're gonna start at the same location we started our first dive today, but we're gonna move up another feature that's adjacent, and that summit is at around 500 or 550 meters. That dive will be shorter, um, so we'll be coming off bottom that dive in just eight hours or so so we'll probably only have four or five hours on bottom uh, once we do the turnaround between these two dives thank you for joining us my name is Erin Easton I'm an assistant professor at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley and it was a pleasure to have you join us today Well, in many areas of the world, it's considered to 150 meters up. 
but some places it goes deeper. So okay, here it's a yeah, right. so light penetrates deeper. So this area of the world we expect to have the deepest mesophotic uh, habitats. So.